what we've got here is something we've developed in this lab that is a sensitive tool for screening infants, pre-verbal infants, for visual defects. It can be used on adults as well. The device is based on reasonably old technology, but we've updated it and it can be 3D printed, uh, which makes it accessible to a lot of different users. It consists of a 3D printed device attached to a standard camera body. So here's the camera body, it comes off, that's the lens we've printed with some electronics in there. And it operates on a very simple principle where there's a flash in here that emits a circular flash of light. The light bounces into your eye. The lens system of your eye, if it's focusing, retransmits that light directly back into the aperture here. And if you had perfect eyesight, you wouldn't see anything when you took a photograph through this. If your eyesight isn't good, then the light that comes from this flash goes into your eye is scattered back out and the eye appears very brightly illuminated in the, in the photograph. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate how this thing works. I'm going to get Andrew to come forward here. Andrew's uh, got glasses on, but we're getting to take the glasses off and I'm going to do this in bright light so that you can see what I'm going to do and then a little bit later we're going to do it in the dark. So I hold this to Andrew's forehead, which gets the focal length right. Andrew looks at the flashing LED, and I, and I take the photograph, and the flash flashes. All right, so now let's try that in the dark, shall we? So lights out, and let's have a look at this. Put this onto Andrew's forehead. Yep, that worked quite well. So here you can see Andrew's eyes. So on the right side of the photo, you can see that the, the light reflected is much lighter colored than on the left. And that is Andrew's left eye, because we've got a mirror image. So his left eye is, is not seeing as well as his right eye. And you can see that there's a, a gradation of color across Andrew's eye on this angle. That means he's got astigmatism on this axis. So that's showing an eye with astigmatism you can see the dark bands running along that axis. The other eye possibly also has astigmatism. You can see it's lighter towards the center than it is towards the outside, but less so. Neither eye is focusing very well. Uh, one of the things we could do is use Andrew with his glasses and see if the glasses correct his vision. There we go. You can see the, the light reflected out of Andrew's eyes is now much darker. There's less of it, which means his eyes are focusing better. His glasses on this side, on his left, have corrected almost all of the visual defects. His glasses on the right haven't done as good a job. So Andrew's left eye is worse than his right eye, considerably, but his glasses are better prescribed on the bad eye. So these are very minor visual defects, but if Andrew were to improve his glasses on the on his right eye, our left, then he would he would see even better. What we want to do with this is take this device to communities in the Pacific that are very remote and screen large numbers of children very quickly. The advantage of screening preverbal children is that the visual defects are much easier to correct when they're picked up young. And in many cases, people will never develop proper eyesight if the defects are not picked up before they're three years old.